The Kolba Public Prosecutor's Office in Ankara has completed its investigation into suspects detained in an operation launched on claims that they wiretapped and spied on figures including then Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan, demanding life sentences for 28 people. Police conducted a broad operation in January into the so-called parallel structure of sympathizers of U.S. based Islamic scholar Fethullah Gulen in the Judiciary and Security Forces, detaining scores of officials from the Telecommunications Directorate, TB, and the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey, TBTUK. The prosecutor's office has charged the 28 suspects with founding an organization to commit crime violating the confidentiality of communication, disrupting the state's unity and country's integrity and spying in terms of politics and the military. Former TB Deputy President Osman Nihait Sen, former TB Information Systems Department Head Lhan Iolo and former President of the Informatics and Information Security Research Center, Bluegem, Hassan Palaz are among the 28 suspects. A summary of proceedings regarding the investigation will be prepared and sent to the Ankara Chief Public Prosecutor's Office, because there is no high criminal court in the town of Kolbe. Some 40 million records on 800 servers of the TB, the top wiretapping body at the time, were inspected before the raid on the institution and TB took, revealing that 363 of the voice recordings belonged to top state officials and the top army brass. Three of the wiretapped crypto-secure phones belonged to Erdogan, with one of them probably being used by his son Bilal Erdogan, according to sources. Other wiretapped figures included Prime Minister Ahmet Davut Alu, who was the foreign minister at the time, National Intelligence Organization, MT, Chief Hakan Fidan, Cabinet Spokesman Bulent Arn, Constitutional Court Head Hassam KL, Chief of General Staff Gen. Nick Ozil and members of the National Security Council, MGK.